On Christmas Eve of 2019, a man was shot dead on his doorstep by a masked international hitman. This is how we solved it. We got the call and very quickly believed this was a targeted assassination. Mr Bakiri, who was suspected of involvement in an international drug dealing network, was murdered in cold blood. This was just one in a bloody rivalry between two Swedish organised crime groups. We immediately began a CCTV trawl, with the first breakthrough being the shooter's hideout. Forensic evidence including gunshot residue on the still present getaway bike and three ripped up pieces of a ticket stub revealed the middle name of a Swedish national. Despite two people being tasked with the cleanup, locating the flats so quickly meant we stopped them being able to complete this when they returned two days later. Extensive and meticulous CCTV inquiries led us to a number of clues. A suspicious figure was identified in the days leading up to the murder. They were litter picking on both public and private roads. We also noticed they were wearing a full face latex mask to hide their identity. They used what would be commonly referred to as a ladies design bicycle in the UK, used by both men and women across Scandinavia. We discovered we were not just dealing with a single suspect. CCTV showed a team had flown into the UK to provide support to the shooter. The shooter and his team underestimated our expertise and the extensive CCTV network which meant that we could track their movements across London. Analysing months of Swedish financial data, we discovered that the planning had begun five months earlier. They even travelled to Denmark to purchase some of the high-vis clothing used in the surveillance. In what is believed to be a first, we examined the mobile data usage and presented this in line with the suspect's movements on CCTV. The Met has strong working relationships with partners across the world. We gathered evidence from across Europe and worked together to extradite the suspects to the UK. A number of the suspects were convicted in February 2022, including Anis Hamisi, who was convicted of being the shooter and was sentenced to 35 years imprisonment. The Met has a global reach and we will relentlessly pursue justice wherever it may take us.